The U.S. Department of Justice filed those lawsuits over Texas's election and abortion laws, and now they filed another one as well. This one is over the new political district maps approved by state lawmakers earlier this year. Bryce Newberry here now with us live. Bryce, this could delay the March primaries. Yeah, Rob, emphasis on could, but in this lawsuit, the DOJ is asking a federal judge to block the state from doing any future elections using these new maps, which already went through quite a process before being signed off on by Governor Greg Abbott back in October. This lawsuit alleges the new congressional and state legislature maps are discriminatory. That's because the DOJ argues the maps work unfairly against black and Latino voters. Specifically, U.S. Attorney General Merrick Garland argues that the Lone Star State violated the Voting Rights Act. Our investigation determined that Texas's redistricting plans will dilute the increased minority voting strength that should have developed from these significant demographic shifts. The state legislature approved these new political maps earlier this year, a once a decade process after new census data is released. The data showed people of color made up 95% of the state's population growth. And this morning, Texas Attorney General Ken Paxton firing back, calling the lawsuit the Biden administration's latest ploy to control Texas voters. He says, quote, I am confident that our legislature's redistricting decisions will be proven lawful and this preposterous attempt to sway democracy will fail. These new maps, however, face at least five legal challenges. That's according to the Texas Tribune based on claims that they are unconstitutional because they disenfranchise voters of color. Rob, now uh, two of the three Biden administration lawsuits against Texas deal with voting rights.